I don't think I really, you would really say that I was committed to uh, working in science until college. I was also thinking about doing things like majoring in history. I was interested in medieval history. Well, I study the formation of planets, of stars, and of galaxies, and how galaxies work. My main tool is supercomputer simulations of the flow of gas under the influence of gas pressure, of magne magnetic fields, of gravity. I also do pencil and paper calculations in support of the same uh, sorts of science. The first um, research project I worked on that led to a scientific publication was during my junior year in college. I went off to Caltech and the Jet Propulsion Lab, JPL, to work on data from the Voyager spacecraft. And what we had was a series of snapshots of Jupiter as the spacecraft approached it over a period of about 100 days, which allowed us to um, watch Jovian weather. Now, Jovian weather consists mostly of um, spots moving around. So I spent a summer watching spots on Jupiter. In some sense, they work on galactic uh, winds, on supernova explosions driving stuff out of galaxies, was almost just a rescaling of my thesis work to address a, a very similar physical problem, but one that a different community needed to understand. So in that sense, I was somewhat bemused that it excited so much interest but it was one of these cases of being in the right place at the right time. As a theorist, really what I do is go talk to people. Uh, so I travel around to, you know, interact with other theorists, to try and sit down and understand things together. In 1993, a comet was discovered that was on a collision course with the planet Jupiter. This was discovered at a period when most planetary scientists did not think about hypersonic blast waves because planetary atmospheres tend to be fairly quiescent things. I, on the other hand, had just finished a th a completing a PhD dissertation on supernova blowing huge shock waves in galaxies. I was working at NASA's Ames Research Center um, until just before that comet was discovered. And I had been talking with a colleague there. He and I been, ended up being one of the two or three leading groups in the world who were making predictions for what would happen when that comet hit. And every telescope in the world was aimed at Jupiter the week that fragments from that comet was hitting it. And it was our predictions that people were using.